Multiplication can seem quite a complicated thing, but not if you use this way of working. It's called the grid method. Now the scenario is, you're having a party and you want to get everybody a goodie bag to take home to remember your party by. You've invited 16 people to your party and the goodie bags are costing £3.53. You need to figure out how much money you're going to need to pay for all those goodie bags. The first thing you need to do is partition the 16 into 10 and 6. 10, 1 10, 6 units. Then you need to do the same with the amount of money that each bag costs. So you partition the £3.53 into pounds, three pounds into tens, 50p, and into pennies, 3p. Then you need to construct a simple grid. Along the top is the amount of money that you're multiplying the 16 by, £3.53. And, and along the side is the 10 pound, is a 10 and the 6, which makes up the 16. Then all you've got to do is multiply a column by the row, 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 and a column by the row. Then you add up the contents that you come up with to give you your answer. So let's work it out. 3 times 10 is £30. 3 times 6 is £18. 50p times 10 is £5. 50p times 6 is £3. 3p times 10 is 30p. 3p times 6 is 18p. So let's total up these rows. £35. 30. 18 plus £3. 19, 20, £21. And 18. Then let's add those together really quickly. 0 and 8 is 8. 3 and 1 is 4. 5 and 1 is 6. 3 and 2 is 5. So all together, your goodie bags will cost you £56.48. So there you have it, the grid method to help solve multiplication problems in a really quick way.